hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is one of those days where I think I'm most likely going to have to sit there and watch happy kitten videos just to calm down and get through the day because we got a lot to cover. Um, the first hot topics is already made. This one is in the process of being made. My second time recording it because my dogs wouldn't stop barking. So yeah, I guess that's the price you pay when you record outside with your dogs laying out in the sun. But this hot topics is about Donald or Donald Trump and the vice president, mostly the vice president, going to visit these detention centers and trying to pretend like it's not a thing. <laughs> When it is, when it's clearly a thing, you can't just sit there and be like, I'm walking you through and pretending like it's okay, but what you see isn't what you see. Just listen to me. Um, not gonna work. Not gonna work with me and not gonna work with anybody with a heart. Um, first off, I wanna, I wanna start with, with Mike Pence himself. He acts like he's this great champion of Christian values and then he's this great guy. He's not. He only cares about his political power he only cares about the fact that he thinks God anointed him to be president. That's not how this works, you freaking creeper. And um, he thinks that he's kind of above it. Just look at him. He thinks that he's above it, like most creepy Christian leaders do. And the reason I say this is if he cared about Christian values as much as he says he is, says, he would not sit there and support Donald Trump like he does. He would not sit there and support a philandering, porn star-loving, child-raping, misogynistic, racist, disgusting human being. It's about power. It's about the fact that Donald Trump gives him power into the vice presidency and he thinks that will get him in the White House. I've got news for you, Mike Pence. You're gonna go down in history as one of the worst vice presidents ever and one of the most disgusting human beings ever. Now, why do I say that? Well, because he visited the detention, camp, the detention centers recently and I watch the video, I've read the news articles, and of course I go through the tweets and everything else that people are saying about it, and it is bad. The detention centers are bad. They're as bad as AOC made them out to be, and you can't hide it. You just can't hide it. When you walk through and the reporter says that there's a smell, when they're sitting there screaming, no shower, no shower, no shower, no shower, over and over again. When you have a when you have a vice president who sits there with this stoned face, dead look of and not caring and just ugh, behavior while talking to border control. And like I've said before, border control is disgustingly out of hand. They're not being monitored, they're racist, they're abusing children, they're abusing women, and we're allowing it. And why do I say that? Because there are reports coming out of them telling them to drink out of the toilet. AOC said that the sink, because people are trying to tell me that, well, the, the sink and the toilet, I saw the pictures, the sink didn't work. So they actually had to drink out of the toilet bowl, which is dehumanizing. I won't even let my dogs drink out of our toilet bowl, let alone a human being. And, ugh. And then the fact that he's sitting there, like, the, the thing that really, really made me the maddest was when he was sitting there talking about, um, or talking to the border control and not talking to the immigrants themselves, not addressing their concerns, not talking to them. No, he's just standing there like this, talking to them. And I'm sorry, but if I had a chance to go there and I was the vice president of the United States, I don't speak Spanish. I'll be the first to admit that I don't speak Spanish. I would get an interpreter and I would be asking them how they are. What are the conditions? Is there anything I can get you to help you? What can I do to make this awful situation better for you because you are a human being and I'm sorry that you're going through this. I'm sorry that it's overcrowded. What can I do for you? But that's not what he's doing because he doesn't care. Um, the only thing that the Republicans care about right now are the fact that these detention centers are for profit. That's right. There's companies that are making money off of the suffering of other human beings and they're reporting record money-making things. They... <laughs> It, it boggles my mind. It completely and totally boggles my mind that they're sitting there making money off of the suffering of other human beings and no one seems to care. No one in the Republican Party seems to care. They just want to push the blame off on Democrats while collecting that cash. And, uh, and then the Republican Party is just feeding off of Fox News which is, is, is pushing this narrative that immigrants are evil and they're recruiting more crime and they're taking your jobs and they're doing this and they're doing that. 
and they're getting all this free stuff, which they're not. They can't just go get a free license. They may be able to get a driver's license in New York, or they're trying to make them do it and get a driver's license, or they're trying to get them health care in California. But this stuff isn't like they're just signing up for it, and that puts them at huge risk. Most of them are not going to go in and try to sign up for a driver's license or um, free health care because then they have to admit that they're illegal, and that puts them on ICE's radar. And I guarantee you, no immigrant wants to be on ICE's radar right now because ICE is just raiding everybody up and treating everybody like crap. And we're just sitting back and being like, okay, let's do this. No, absolutely not. We as a country have to sit here and be better. We have to do better. We are not going to be Nazi Germany. And I cannot believe I have to keep saying this in all my immigrant videos. Nazi Germany didn't start out as Nazi Germany. It didn't start out with Hitler just being like, I don't like the Jews. Let's go round them up and stick them in concentration camps. That's not how it worked. It started with things like this. It started with rounding them up in ghettos and sticking them there. It started with campaigns of the media trying to make them sound like they are not human, like they are like they are the reason that all the crime and why there's no money in the country and that they're taking your jobs. This is classic dehumanization on a mass scale. And it leads to things like genocide and death and what is going on in our own country. So I don't know about you, but I don't want to go down in history as the people that sat back and allowed the next Nazi Germany. Do you? Do you really want to? Let me ask you that. Do you want to be known as that? Do you want to be known as the people that sat back and allowed this, that allowed children to die, that allowed children to be raped, that made money off the suffering of other human beings? If that's who you are, then you're disgusting. Get out of the way. Just get out of the way for those of us that care. Move out of the way and let us help. Um, people are trying to bring in food and trying to help, and they don't want to let them in. Move out of the way. Let them bring in water. Let them bring in food. Let them bring in clothes and diapers. Let people help or just move out of the way because I am so sick of hearing that it is their fault. No. Once they are in our custody, it is our fault. Everything that happens to them is our fault. It is America's fault. The world is watching. And we are on a human rights watch because we are violating human rights. And I don't know about you, but I just don't want to be part of that. So, um, yeah. That's what I have to say on that, and I will see you later. Nope, okay.